All right, so for this video, we'll be evaluating the summation from k equals 1 to n of this function here, k over k to the power 4 plus k squared plus 1. So the, the common technique here is to begin by uh, plugging in the values of k here, uh, probably the first three or four terms to uh, see if there is uh, a pattern here that can help us to evaluate this easily. So let's begin by doing that. So for k equals 1, we'll have 1 over... Uh, 3. Let's just put in k here. Uh, the next term will be k equals 2. So I'll have 2 up here and down I'll have 2 to the power 4, 16 plus 4 plus 1. That's 21. Uh, let's do just one more for k equals 3. That's 3 over uh, 3 to the power 4, 81 plus 9 plus 1. That's 91 plus many other terms. Now, from the first three terms, you can already see that this is not a geometric progression and it's not an arithmetic progression. So that's not a nice place to begin from because the pattern here doesn't give us any clue on how to evaluate this. Next, I'll try writing this as uh, in some other form, probably as a partial fraction to see if that helps. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. We write this as a partial fraction. I'll first uh, massage the denominator a little bit. So this is k to the power 4 plus k squared plus 1. And we can actually write this as k to the power 4 plus 2k squared plus 1 um, minus k squared. Same thing here. Uh, but then this here is the same as k squared uh, plus k plus 1. All right. Uh, all this squared minus k squared and this right here is uh, a difference of two squares which is a uh, nice one here so i'll have this written as k squared plus one minus k into k squared plus one plus k yeah, i'll have it i'll just write this as uh, a polynomial uh just uh, very well, so k squared minus k plus 1 into k squared plus k plus 1. So there we have it. And uh, let's now go uh, to the second part, which is writing this as a partial fraction now. So we have k divided by k squared, uh, not squared, that's k to the power 4 plus k squared plus 1. This is equivalent to, so I have here, uh, some numerator which I have to find divided by this. This is uh, k squared minus k plus 1 plus some other numerator which I have to find divided by k squared plus k plus 1. So, of course, the numerator here, since the denominators are quadratic factors, so uh, polynomials of degree 2, the numerator will have to be a polynomial of degree 1. So, Probably something like a k plus b. By the way, if you're not familiar with partial fractions, I have a, a full playlist on this. I'll leave a link to it in the description where you can check it out. All right. This also is a, a quadratic uh, denominator. So this is going to be something like c k plus d. Okay. So this is k equivalent to a k plus b into k squared plus k plus 1 plus this is ck plus d into k squared minus k plus 1 and there are several ways of finding what a b c and d are i'll take this one in this case it seems to be most appropriate so i'll take first of all k as 1 so for k equals 1 let's see what we have to substitute k equals 1 here that's 1 equals, so uh, let me begin with 0, that's even better. So for k equals to 0, we'll just have this as 0. This term here will vanish, and we'll have b. Everything here is going to be 1, uh, 0 plus 0 plus 1, that's 1. Uh, this is a 0 right here, uh, plus, so this term here is going to vanish for k equals to 0, so we'll have d. And then everything here will just turn out to be 1. So let's call that the first equation. 
Ah, uh, let's do it for k equals 1. So we'll just have 1 here. Uh, so we'll have k plus, uh, okay, that's a plus b. If you substitute 1 here, 1 squared plus 1 plus 1, that's 3. Okay, plus uh, c plus d. If you substitute 1 here, that's just going to be 1 squared minus 1 plus 1, which is just a 1. So we have 3a plus 3b plus c plus d equals 1. Uh, that's the second equation uh, for k. So my goal here is to create four equations since I have four unknowns at least. So for k equals 2, uh, let's see what we have here. 2 equals, if I just plug in 2 here, I'll have 2a plus b. Let's substitute 2 for k here. So I'll have 2 squared, which is 4 uh, plus 2, 6 plus 1, that's 7 plus. So we have 2c plus d. And then what do we have here? 2 squared, that's 4 minus 2, which is 2 plus 1, that's 3. So that's 14a plus 7b plus 6c plus 3d equals 2. That's equation number 3. And for k equals 3, uh, that's going to be 3 equals uh, 3a plus b. Okay, yeah, substitute 3 here, we'll have 3 squared, that's 9 plus 3 plus 1, uh, that's 13, so that's times 13. Okay, I put uh, 3 here, that's going to be 3c plus d. Uh, if substitute 3 here, that's 9, uh, 9 minus 3, that's uh, 6 plus 1, that's 7. So we have 39a. Uh, 39a plus 13b plus 21c plus 7d equals 3. And uh, we can call that equation 4. So we have four unknowns, four equations. And you can solve this using any method of your choice. I think substituting uh, using the first equation would be nicer to reduce this to only three equations, which you can then solve. So I'm not going to solve the uh, equations in this video. I just don't want to make it too long. But I'll just show you what the values of A, B, C, and D are. So after solving these four equations, you'll actually have A as 0, B as 1 half, uh, C as 0, and D as 1 half. So let's rewrite this now as a partial fraction. So we have... Um, a k plus b over k squared minus k plus 1 plus c k plus d over uh, k squared plus k plus 1. This is going to be 1 half into 1 over k squared minus k plus 1. Okay, that's going to be minus because uh, the value of d is, uh, all right, that should be negative 1 half. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's nice. Negative 1 half. So that's minus 1 over k squared minus, sorry, that's plus k plus 1. Okay, so instead of taking the summation from k equals 1 to n of, so let's see what our original expression is, k divided by k to the power 4 plus k squared plus 1. This is going to be 1 half times the summation from k equals 1 to n, of course. But now we have 1 over, so that's um, k squared minus k plus 1 minus 1 over k squared plus k plus 1. All right. So there we go. Now something interesting here. If uh, if I let if I let f of k to be this function here, one over k squared plus k plus one, then f of k minus one. So f of k minus one will be one over k minus one squared uh, plus k minus one plus 1, and if you simplify this, you'll have 1 over k squared minus k plus 1, which is 
this here, so this is equally the same as one half times the summation from k equals one to n of f of k minus one plus f of k. All right, so let's just proceed with that up there. So that's the summation from k equals one to n of f of k minus one plus f of k. So let's try putting in some values of k here to see what we have. So for k equals one, I'll just have, uh, there's one half outside here. Uh, okay, is it? So we have one half. Uh, so if I plug in one here, I'll have f of zero uh, plus, okay, I guess that's a minus because of this minus here. So this is a minus, not a plus. This here, okay, just take that off. Right, so there we have it, minus. So, okay, this here is also a minus. And yeah, so we have it there. So we have this. Uh, minus. I hope I didn't make this mistake elsewhere. Okay, I have minus. So yeah, here we have uh, for k equals 1, we have f of 0 minus f of 1. Nice. The next term, I put in k equals 2. That's going to be f of 1 minus f of 2. And this is actually going to keep on like that up to uh, minus f of n and as you can see all the terms in the middle here are just going to cancel out so in the end I'll have a half into f of 0 minus f of n and uh, we know what f of k is so f of k is 1 over k squared plus k plus 1 so f of uh, f of 0 is just 1 plug in 0 here and f of n is 1 over n squared plus n plus 1. Obviously, just put uh, n for k here. Uh, so, I'll just proceed like this now, finally. We're almost there. So, i uh, just have this as 1 half into f of 0, which is 1, minus f of n, that's 1 over n squared plus n plus 1, which, just to simplify this a little, we have 1 half into n squared plus n plus 1 minus 1. All this divided by n squared plus n plus 1. And that's going to be 1 half, uh, 1 half into n squared this cancels with this so we have one half into n squared uh, plus n divided by n squared plus n plus 1 and that's our solution so thanks for watching this video if you find this helpful give me a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so I'll see you in my next problem bye